Okay, last summer I made a video on a DIY hack on how to avoid sweat dripping down into your eyes while riding, especially in warm weather. Now, I got a lot of response to that video and I asked, what is your favorite way of avoiding sweat in your eyes? This is a 100% independent review. I have paid for the product with my own money and I'm not paid to do this review. One of the most common recommendations that I got was the Halo headband. So I picked up one of those it's got this rubber sort of seal here on the inside of the band. It's not very thick. It's kind of, yeah, it seems kind of nice. So I'm going to do a little review here now. I'm going to head out. It's very warm outside in Swedish terms. And I'm going to use the same helmet, the same helmet that I used for my hack. So it's everything the same, except that I've replaced my special hack with the original padding. So we're going to try this out. I'm going to head out now, do some riding. So let's head out. Okay, I'm back from my, my ride and I must really say that this, this was actually a great product. I've been riding quite hard, it was very warm and I can't actually say that I had one single drip of sweat in my face, in my eyes or anywhere around it. So, and it, wasn't, it didn't even touch the glasses. So let's take a little bit closer look at this product, what it actually is. I got a bundle with two headbands of the same model the Halo 2 headband pullover and a Halo skull cap. I got the black version, but it comes in a huge variety of colors and patterns, and there's also other models available. The headband is made out of a fabric called Dry Line, and it's a thin fabric similar to neoprene. It's very functional and it absorbs the sweat and dries very fast. In combination with a rubber seal, the sweat lock, it prevents the sweat from dripping into your eyes or onto your glasses. Okay, so the verdict is that the Halo headband, it's a great product for us who sweat a lot and tends to get the sweat in our eyes. My DIY solution, I withhold, it's, it's still a great solution, it's not bad. It is significantly cheaper, it's just that the headband is actually better, so I uh, admit the defeat there. Since this film test ride, I've used it several times and I've noticed that it's a bit warmer than my DIY solution, which is reasonable since it's fabric wrapped around my head. But apart from that, all good. If you want to pick up the uh, Halo headband, you can check out some links in the description below. And if you do want to check out the video where I make the solution myself, you can check out the video right up here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next DIY bike project. Cheers.